Hi, my name is Dr. Sasha Hai, and I'm an internal medicine specialist and bariatric physician. And over the next five weeks, we're going to be talking about a bit of a taboo topic, obesity. But my hope is that as we go into more depth about obesity and discover that it's a, a real medical condition, not simply the result of poor lifestyle choices, that will shift our perspective away from it being a taboo topic and eradicate the unconscious bias toward increased weight. And that's the topic of today's segment, weight bias and discrimination. Obesity is perhaps the last frontier within medicine where it is still socially acceptable to shame people for their disease. If you think about it, obesity is where mental health was 10 or 15 years ago. Just like we're now talking about depression as a medical condition, we need to open up the conversation around obesity because it's affecting nearly 7 million Canadians. Obesity is unlike other health conditions in that it's a physical characteristic that is visible. Weight bias refers to negative attitudes and views about obesity and about people living with obesity. The reality is that people living with obesity face bias and discrimination every day. In fact, it's both internalized bias where they believe they caused their illness and are therefore to blame, as well as externalized bias from people around them who discriminate based on size. The unconscious bias is present and felt all around when applying for jobs, taking public transit, even when seeking health care. Research has shown that 64% of people with obesity have experienced stigma from their health care providers. And elementary school kids with obesity have a 63% higher chance of being bullied. Weight bias has been shown to lead to anxiety, stress, depression, low self-esteem and body image issues, and it needs to stop. Sadly, media adds to this by showing unfavorable depictions of people with obesity, perpetuating the myth that this condition is due to laziness or lack of willpower. Sometimes it's the fat friend on a sitcom or showing an unkempt, overweight individual eating junk food. Either way, the underlying message is clear. Obesity is the result of poor lifestyle choices and is the fault of the individual. But research has shown us that this is in fact not the case. Obesity is the result of complex biological, environmental, genetic, and social factors that cause disordered body weight regulation. So if you're struggling with your weight or perhaps you've faced the discrimination that I talked about today, the message I want you to hear is this. You're not alone and it's not your fault. And there's hope. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing some of the science supporting obesity as a chronic disease and treatments available to help people living with obesity. I'm Dr. Sasha Hai. Thanks for watching.